Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Quick Tips. I'm Illusion, like usual. So, we're getting right into episode 3. We're picking up basically where we left off in the last two episodes. So if you haven't seen those two episodes, definitely go check them out so you can kind of see how we're building off, off of uh, each system that we did in the last episode. So I still have this interface set to export, still have the supplier logistics pipe that's still, still supplying to the ender chest here. So next thing we're going to talk about is remote ordering. Remote ordering allows you to access your inventory, whether it be the ME inventory or your logistics pipe in inventory, anywhere you're at. So I'm going to set it to run off the AE system since that's what we're kind of focusing on. So I'm going to grab another interface, hook them up with a, some ME cable, we'll use a subcovered cable because that's just what happened. I'm going to stick down a provider pipe. Remember, we always have to use a provider pipe anytime we are accessing the network to not only provide power, but provide the supplied materials to the adjacent pipe. And then we're going to throw down a remote ordering pipe. Remote ordering pipe is just an ender pearl and some basic logistics pipe and some redstone. So I'm going to stick that down there. And then I'm going to give myself a remote order. Remote order is a little bit costly. It does take some diamonds, but if you use it on a laser chipset um, assembly table, you could save a fair amount of diamonds because that's eight diamonds plus eight gold plus eight iron. And this is here you're just talking about two diamonds and two redstone. So it's definitely worth the investment. So we got the system set up, and I'm going to click on it here, and it's got a little tooltip that says we're now connected to the pipe. So if I click on it here, you can see I got access to whatever is in my ME network. So let's say I'm off and I need a chest. So I can request one chest. You can see my tooltip down here says one, tip, uh, one chest successful. Check my ender pouch and bam, there is a chest. Cool deal. So you can see how you get two sides of the system we're here. Now, the remote ordering, you could get rid of this side of get side of this to get rid of the um, keep this always stocked but at the same time you could leave it we're still using the same inner chest now one tip is you cannot remote order off of this interface because it'll only access what's exported the export conviv config so that basically is going to override the whole network being access to the whole network so you have to use two of them but at the same time I can have a system just like this where I have access to all the things I'm going to use on a regular basis, but you know, if I need something else, you know, say if I uh, break my boots, just grab myself a new pair of boots out and toss them on with no harm done. So that's how you do the remote ordering from logistics pipes. So it's a good integration between AE and logistics pipe. And logistics pipes is pretty much found in all big name mod packs as well as um, applied energistics. So thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, stick around, see some other videos I have going on, and I will see you guys on the next episode.